Monday, my maybe we get a ban list today, memers. We're back with another installment of Breakfast and Ban List, which is a weird combination of our predictions for this list and hopes and dreams that will probably not be fulfilled. All while eating breakfast. Yay. We finally have food this episode. <laughs> it's been like 14 installments <laughs> with no food, but hey, we still got the coffee too, don't worry. I know there's been a lot of doom and gloom around this format and we genuinely don't know if we're gonna get a list, but it is a Monday, so anything's possible. If a list does drop on this day while you're watching this video, feel free to let us know in the comments how right or wrong we are because this would not be the first time that's happened on the channel. But with that being said, whether we get a list or not, we at least wanted to share our thoughts on where we're at with the format because as you know, we haven't been around a whole lot and we have some feelings, but in the end, Konami's gonna do whatever they want to do. So we're just here shooting it with y'all, my cutiest patooties. So with all that being said, let's bang out some bands and eat some breakfast. I missed. The first card on this list, I think it's been the first card on our list for like maybe the last two, <laughs> two lists, years. Yeah. I feel really bad, but there actually is a ton of merit to this card now because Branded did officially win an Yay. event in Good Europe. For Four thousand years, they won a what a YCS at Euros. Uh, it was something. I don't know, but they won something. They finally stopped getting participation trophies. Shout out to Brandon. And they got second place in uh, what was it, Australia last Oceanics. week? Oceanics too. Yeah. So like legit. Shout out to Brandon. Wow. Brandon's repping for the branded players, which is why I think we do need to actually Band go. Sanctifier. Yeah, this car needs to go. Bye. You won your event. Shoo, get out. I'm so tired of getting gimmick puppet locked. It's annoying. I don't feel like. I need to explain why we should ban this card anymore, but hey, there's gonna be at least three branded comments that are like, no, you cannot oh, hit my thing. There's so many defenders right now. They're like, no, ban gimmick puppet. Like, oh my God, for no. God's sake. Anyway, if we just ban Sanctifier, I feel like it solves at least some of the problems that I have and I, I'll be okay with it. I'd feel a lot better about branded. I would honestly say much less crap about it if Sanctifier was banned. And on that note, I think moving forward, this is something that I don't think Konami has ever done, which would be a preemptive ban. I would really like to see it. I know a lot of people have been talking about this card. In the brand new set, we do get some of the white wood cards, which means that Centurion is even more playable again, meaning that we just get Gimmick Puppet Lock 2.0 with King Calamity. I think this card needs to go. Hot Red has always been a problem in decks that can abuse it. Skipping your opponent's turn before they can even play a singular card is no fun. Man, isn't it crazy how the two cards we've mentioned on the banlist so far are cards that literally just don't facilitate playing the game? Isn't that so fun for this game? Anyway, uh, third card on the list is another big doofus, Flamberge. Hey, yep. that's my guy. In case you've been living under a rock for almost nine months, this is kind of the heart and soul of the Snake Eye deck, and I think it's about time we rip the heart and soul right out of its chest because I've had enough of this ding dong. Being able to get this card out of the deck for free, being able to either put one of your opponent's cards into the back row and not have to deal with it, or put your own in the back row so that you can summon it on your opponent's turn as a freaking free interruption. Getting two bodies on both players' turn, this card legitimately just way too much, and I think this card, if we are trying to actually off the Snake Eye deck, is probably the biggest culprit to give it the biggest hit. There's too many goddamn snakes on this mother flipping plane. Oh my god, are all three cards on our bandless dragons? I actually don't know if Sanctifier's a dragon, but it is like Sanctifier the Albion it's dragon, Sanctifier. right? No, he's a dragon. Whoa! And is Man, it's almost like a dragon? Yeah, it's almost like dragons are a problem. Wow. Is Flamberge a dragon or Flamberge is he Pyro? Is a dragon. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like the meme of the three dragons where it's like the goofy one, the serious <laughs> one, the other one. That's these three cards. A lot of people have been asking for Appaloosa to be banned, even though Borlode Savage Dragon and and Baron got banned. This takes a lot more resources and we don't think that this card is actually gonna be seen on the list. Hey, before we get into the limited, let's get unlimited and hey talk now. about our new Star Wars Unlimited TCG YouTube channel that we just started and are uploading today for the very first time. Yes, we have been playing Star Wars Unlimited in the meantime when we haven't played Yu-Gi-Oh! in the last few months because it's honestly a really sick, accessible, cheap, and easy TCG Super to fun. pick up. If you love Star Wars or you're just looking for something new to play that's easy to pick up and isn't gonna cost you an arm and a leg, our Swoo channel is here to help you. It's gonna be called Full Force. We're still sticking with the viruses. We went from crush cards to Full Force because duh, Star Wars, the <laughs> Force. And we just thought it was a perfect segue into this little journey of ours. So we would love it if you would come and subscribe if you have any interest. We're gonna be talking about how to play the game, doing sealed, doing a box opening of the brand new set that comes out this, this week. week. You have no easier time to get into the game than right now. So make sure you go follow us over at Full Force. Links in the description box down below. So come be a swooper trooper and we'll see you there. Anyway, let's go 
jump on over into the limited section. First up on the list, should be no surprise, Bonfire. Every road is at one. This one's no excuse. I will not elaborate. Next up, this is something I don't genuinely think they will do, but it is something I would like to see, and this is either putting Wanted or Diabelle Star to one. We obviously are getting these cards in the Megatons as reprints. However, I think this facilitates a lot of the consistency and pulls it away from the Snake Eye deck, even with Flame Bridge Ban, even with Bonfire at one. We do get the brand new Fiendsmith archetype, which just makes that deck ultra consistent, even with some of these hits. So I don't think the Snake Eye deck necessarily is queued up for one or two. It probably needs three hits if we are actually going to try to bring this deck from tier zero to tier like 1.5 or 2. Yeah, I don't know if they're actually going to hit those cards, which is kind of frustrating. I don't even know if we're going to get a list, <laughs> if I'm being honest with you. So this is all kind of just talking into the void. But in a perfect world, these would be cool hits. Last up on our limited list is also a card that I think probably should have gone to one a while ago, and that is Skill Drain. I think Skill Drain has been in every single Breakfast and Ban list for like two years now straight. And every time it doesn't show up on the screen, and you have to let us know. So <laughs> God willing, it's on the screen right now. You can let us know in the comments. It's our funny little bit. But Skill Drain should 100% go to one because all the other floodgates are at yeah. one. I, I feel like this is just like everything else is at one. So should this. Like, why are we making exceptions? I get it. We had to do reprints, but it's time. And still in the limited section, cards that I do not think they will actually address, but if we are on the topic of floodgates, cards we have talked about and everyone else in the community has brought to attention, Shifter is just an insane card in a graveyard-centric format. It literally just shuts it off, and Dimensional Barrier is another option. I don't know. I don't think they're going to hit either of these cards. I, I, I think Shifter, honestly, like, it merits it. The formats that it's been really good has been a lot more than it hasn't been, so I don't think they're going to hit it. I don't think they don't warrant hits, but I also just don't think they're going to do anything about it. It's kind of like Fenrir, you know? Fenrir's really strong, really good, probably one of the easiest, best special summons in the game right now. However... I don't know if they're gonna do anything about it. Let me know in the comments if you think they're gonna do yeah. anything about any of those cards. These are really just discussion like, pieces. Yeah, at the end of the day, let me know what you think in the comments below. Who am I? I'm just a girl. Moving on into the semi-limited section, I do not think these are cards that are actually going to get hit. So disclaimer, these aren't our actual takes, but in our ban list prediction and our discussions, we'd like to try to balance yeah. mostly everything in the format, not just one problematic deck. We're just being inclusive. If we're gonna hit one, we're gonna hit everybody. We're like a meteor shattering in the atmosphere. Jesus Christ. Anyway, semi limit. The first of which is San Gen Summoning. This is the field spell for the Tempai archetype that effectively makes everything a towers monster, and it's a Rota, and this card just literally <laughs> allows you to pop free cards, and then you get to kill your opponent with Trident and Dragon. Yay! If you borrowed it from, from a friend. From your friend! Make sure oh you my god, it. don't forget the power of friendship. Tempai is a brand new archetype and is still getting new support into the next set, so I genuinely don't think they're going to hit this card, but once again, trying to balance everything, this is the card that makes the most sense going to two if we are trying to bring everything's power level down. Bars. With that being said, we're going to also set my limit opening of the Spirit Gates because of you, Bell. Just being fair about it, I don't think it's going to get hit. doesn't work a hit really, but who knows? Maybe it's possible. And the last one on the semi-limited list, I can already feel the hate in the bum, comments bum, coming bum, at bum. me. I do think it's been, what, four years maybe? The lore is completely done. I know we banned Sanctifier, but maybe we can put Branded Fusion to two and make some of the Brandies play a new deck. It's literally been four years. There's been 15 decks that have come out. Yeah, Brandy, you've gone multi-platinum. <laughs> I think you can take a break. Almost done. <laughs> Maybe we just try to facilitate playing new stuff instead of old stuff. This isn't a dig at your deck. Your deck is great. You're fine. You're Ever so awesome, Brandon sweetie. is amazing. We love Brandon. We're actually the biggest Branded players in the world. I love the Louver. However, I, do for him. I think maybe we should try to shift away from older decks yeah. to play newer stuff yeah. because Konami as a business wants to sell you new product, mm. not have you play old stuff. And I, you can still play with two Branded Fusion. It's going to be okay. We're not limiting it. We're just putting it to two. It's all hypothetical. We don't work at Konami. It, it's probably going to stay at three. But in a perfect world, we're just saying we have put it to two. That's it. That's it. We're done. All done. We're done. We're All done. done. And last but not least, the most fun part, which is the unlimited section. This is where things that have previously come off are probably just going to end up. We're talking about Pinker Tops, we're talking about Armageddon Knight, we're talking about my sweet purple sparky boy Colossus. Probably all go into three. I, yeah, it doesn't really feel I like don't it know. matters, I does mean, it? I, Colossus has done uh, nothing. Literally nothing. Li literally nothing. Pinker Tops, whatever, man. And then Armageddon Knight, is he not at three? Is he at two? No, he's at two. He's oh, at two. Put him to three. And on that topic, too, I guess, like, realistically, since Arma has done nothing, maybe, like, Dark Refer goes to two or three. Does it really matter? Like, Does it, anything it matter anymore? Touch the construct. Made... Life is a void. Let's all just separate. With all that 
being said, I know we talked about a lot of hodgepodge different cards, but I also don't know if we're gonna get a list. Being super serious, Nats is in about a week and a half. We will be there, we by will the be way. There. Please come say hi. Give me Master of Hams to sign and various other things. We would love to sign, take pictures, say hi. Please don't be shy and come say hi to us. We'll be there the whole time. Yeah, I don't know if we're gonna get a list. I really don't. If we don't, I won't be surprised because we get all the Fiend Smith Infinite Forbidden stuff that weekend and I don't know if they're gonna wanna capitalize on that or we're gonna get a ban list literally sometime during the day this video drops. Which yeah, literally like an hour. <laughs> wouldn't, be, wouldn't be surprising. We're putting it out early for the exact reason of fear instilled in us. But just to be safe, we wanted to put our thoughts out there and invite you all to have a discussion in the comments. Please remember to be respectful, be kind to each other. This is just a silly card game and we just have silly opinions. So just be silly in a nice way. And speaking of silly card games, make sure you go check out our Switch channel. Links yeah, in the description make box sure down below. Yeah, make sure you go check out Full Force. We're sticking with the viruses baby but this time it's star wars if you're interested in an amazing card game that we have picked up in the meantime while well, this format has been a little stale for Yu-Gi-Oh, it's quick it's cheap and it's awesome and i absolutely adore this game and we're going to be posting a lot of cool content for that so if you want to join us on another journey feel free to subscribe links in the description box down below love you well that being said thank you all so much for watching this video thank you for joining us for another installment of breakfast and ban list where i ate all of one blueberry and a piece of pineapple these are grapes <laughs> <laughs> and a grape <laughs> Apparently. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. We love you. You matter. And we'll see you over in full force and in the next video. Love you. Bye, team. See y'all at Nats, team. Oh. Okay, let's do Those this. Those are great. Yeah, dog. <laughs>